Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We have a surprise to share with you guys. Yep, that's it. Not only a one a baby chick, but we have four new baby chicks. Yeah, four. We are gonna add them to our little brooder because these guys are too small to go outside. And look, it looks like two girls and a boy or one girl for sure. They all look like girls. No, that one's got a big honking nose. Anyway, we moved their water up on top of here and it keeps it from getting plugged up, which is great. Molly's like, I love the chickens. Uh, but they spill their, I only have their food in this bucket. And it's annoying because they spill it and then they don't dig for it. Like all chickens peck around for food. Well, because they don't have a mom. So anyway, we're going to add the new babies. And I'm going to have to put this thing down a little bit lower so that it keeps the new babies warm. These ones are spicy. Geez. I know, I'm worried. We might have to do something different because, because what we're worried- That one looks like a chicken nugget. What we're worried about are the bigger chickens pecking the little chickens and there's four new ones. Molly, Molly hates every, every the, animal, but she loves these. Well, yeah, she loves baby chicks. Yeah, all right. You can laugh the longest. Put them right underneath here so that they know that that's where they go to get warm. Oh, you're cute. Oh, that one is cute. What a funny face. Go under. Go under. This one looks like a rooster. You think that one's a rooster? Yeah, because it's cute also. Get under. And one white one, one lowly white one. So we're gonna have to fill this up with food. I need, I should have went with dad. Dad went shopping. I need to get, uh, he left. Yeah, I need to get something to fill up the chicken food with. Actually, let's go to the barn. I'm sure I have one. Anyway, we're gonna keep an eye on them and make sure everybody's okay. This is a regular part of chickens. It's awful. Chickens are mean to each other. All animals are mean to each other. Even the cat likes the chickens. Yeah, where's the cat? Yeah, we're all just hanging out here, all of us. <laughs> She'll put her legs through these. We're all here. And stare at them. I know. The cat literally, it's like such good mental stimulation for the cat. She loves to lay on top of them and just watch them. And <clears throat> they're eating shavings. Are they eating shavings? Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna fill up their bucket of food. But let's go see if we can find a new what a new food thing because I've like filled up their food. Look, look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but a large part of that is chicken food. Like it's all on the ground here, chicken food, and they don't ever peck. Oh look, I'm already filling up their water. I need to figure out something. We, I'll get a board and bring it in and we'll put it on there. That's something that's new today on the Day by Day Farm. Four new baby chicks <laughs> and everybody's excited. Are you guys as excited as we are? Yeah, my baby. Oh. Off on me. Sorry, where is the baby actually? The baby puppy. Kirby. She's here. Oh, she's here. She's like, I'm here. I got it. Here. The lid that Sam made is amazing. It works so good to keep them safe from our animals. So uh, Sam just got back from town. He went to a new bakery. Yeah, we have a bakery. I can't believe we have a bakery now. Sam loves bakeries. We never, we, yeah, because in Toronto there's tons of bread bakeries and then they all went out of business. But now they're all coming back in. So so uh, let's see what he got. He got a whole basket of bread stuff. I also went to the grocery store. Oh. So, so what you got? I got this for you. It's special for the month. It's called a Danish. But it's pumpkin. Pumpkin Danish. Looks so super good. It's big. We can all split it. Yeah. This raisin bread would probably be good. It comes from Cobb's bread. Yeah. So like I love, I used to love bread, but now that I take that spirulina stuff, it makes me not like bread, which is good because I don't want to like bread. But I only like crispy bread. I don't like soft, this super processed bread. I like crunchy bread like like this. It's so good. Who'd so you get that for? Is, uh, this is the only Italian kind of bread they had there. And that's for? That's for Gabby. Gabby wanted it. Gabby but loves. I got it sliced. Maybe I shouldn't have got it sliced. No, slice is good. It's perfect for her. Stuff for dinner. And food. then you got this bread? Yeah. <laughs> From the grocery store? From the grocery store. Didn't they have French bread at the at the bakery? 
I didn't check, but anyways. Yeah, I like that kind of bread. I do not like sandwich bread. Another update on that spirulina. It's called blue green algae spirulina. I've been taking it. It's like a supplement. I take it like maybe five days a week and then give myself a, a rest. All it is, I've told you guys before, all it is is like um, a supplement. They use it in, in Asia a lot as a medicine. It's just chock full of vitamins. It's high in protein. It's high in vitamins and minerals. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm trying to get by here. Excuse me, excuse me. Anyway, I've been taking it like maybe two weeks now and that stuff has changed my life. Like, remember I told you guys I'm sensitive? I'm sensitive to everything. Like, there's a lot of foods that I can't eat. Well, that's over now. Like, I can eat anything. But the crazy thing is that I don't want to eat anything. Like, it changed my taste buds because it works on your your sugar levels and I've, my whole life I've had problems with my sugar levels like even when I was a little kid if I would eat meat even as an adult if I ate meat or if I ate candy or something with sugar in it I would get this huge spike in my blood sugar like I've had in my whole entire life I always have been hyper because my blood sugar would always spike after I eat and then it would drop and it's the drop that sucks don't get me wrong some of that's really fun like that rise is so fun like I love being hyper but now I just get a constant steady stream of energy and I don't get that rise and I don't get that fall and I've never had that in my whole entire life like this stuff balances you and because it balances my blood sugar it makes me not crave any food so I used to love bread and I used to look forward to bread because bread was like a source of sugar that would give me that rise and make me feel so good and now I don't get any of that so I don't crave any of that like it's just crazy like people the world is on an ozempic rush right now people are taking ozempic and it's like a drug it's a it's a drug and people are taking this by the bucket loads and losing weight and this spirulina is literally vitamins and minerals. It does the same thing, it does the exact same thing. And it's so cheap, it's $18.99 for like a month or maybe more, I don't know. You only take one pill a day and you don't even have to take it every day. I didn't take it today and I still feel all the effects of it so strong. It is the best thing I've ever discovered. I discovered it by myself. I just was looking up some stuff and I ended up down this rabbit hole and I was like, you know, I'm gonna try that because it's just seaweed. There are some adverse things that can happen if you don't get it from like a secure source. It can have like heavy metals in it because it comes from the water, it's seaweed. And so you just have to be careful about that. But then there's other one, there's other spirulina that you can take with cholera or something like that in it. And that attaches to heavy metals and does a detox. But I love this stuff. Oh, it's so good. I want to put that on my phone though. All right. Well, the reason why I went to the grocery store this morning is to look for boxes and found a couple nice boxes. So what are you using the boxes so for? what we're doing is we're going to the bird, bird sale. or whatever sale. And we're selling some birds, so I have to make a bunch of these things. Yeah. This one is not as good as the other one I made, which is way better. So this, this one, attempt. yeah, and he had to tape it on the bottom to make it strong. Yeah. But, so that you can see the bird. Yeah, and, I think it should be bigger. Like the people when we were there, they had a bigger opening so you could really see in there. Yeah, but this is more of a fort. So that yeah. bird can't push it apart. So. Yeah, so that'll be in tomorrow's video. I'll we'll be making two more of these for today. Well, we don't even know what we're selling. I mean, we, we're selling two, two ducks. ducks and a rooster. And a rooster, so. Sophie wants to sell the baby chickens. Yeah, baby chicks would be good too. Yeah, the big ones. Yeah, we're not gonna sell them though. Like, that's the thing. We're gonna take them there, they're gonna freeze to death because it's gonna be early in the morning. We're take the big ones. I know, but the reason that those ones you don't want. people don't buy baby chicks when the weather's cold because they need to be on heat and a lot of people don't like to do heat. Unlike us who don't care about heat. Right, so I am back here in my crazy place. I want to go through this, this, this fall. Oh my gosh, look at all this food in here. That'll feed, feed all the mice for sure. There's even an apple in here. I know I have more chicken feeders in here and I really need more chicken feeders. But honestly, we've come in here and we've gone through all this stuff so many times to find the things that we wanted for summer. So it's just a big, huge mess of all of our Christmas stuff. What I really need to do is just bring out a giant garbage bag and then go through all this stuff and get rid of anything that we didn't do use this year. 
because if you haven't used it in a year, you're not gonna use it. So today is the day. Sophie wants to ride first before we do anything else, but today is the day. I'm switching around the goats because it's breeding season. I don't wanna miss it. I think some of the goats are due to come <coughs> back into heat next week. And, and I don't wanna miss it. I want them to all be together, moving everybody around. It's gonna be crazy town. This is my second box I made, which is way better. So it's way better. Super this is sturdy. a little too short, so I, that's why I got the bigger boxes for the bigger. That's good birds. for the ducks. Yeah, or, or the chicks or something. I know that freaks me out too. Every time we see like an animal that hasn't. She's laying eggs somewhere. Is, is she laying eggs somewhere? She should be old enough. They're young still. They're really young. I mean, we, they were hatched in like July. Oh. <laughs> She's the girl, she's a yapper. So Sophie was like, where's my waffles, the little girl duck? Is she trying to lay an egg? Look at waffles, she's so pretty. I wanna catch her. No, waffles. Just leave her, don't stress her out. Let her find her friends. Give me a break, give me a break. Literally, it's only been a couple of days and they're already pooping like, oh, like crazy. Come on, lady girl. Come on. Penny's coming. Like yeah. <laughs> Doesn't take much to get a mare to come to you. Hi, huh, baby girl. I don't have one. The one time you like me is when I ask you. <laughs> All right, and we're going to shoot a little TikTok video. So. I left the puppies outside with Sam. Look at how cute she looks. I left the puppies outside with Sam and, and I didn't let them into the barnyard. And Ellie just figured out a way to get in. This dog, oh my God, she's digging a hole to get in. Sam! Oh my God. Don't do it, just don't do it because then that means that our goats could get out and our pig could get out. Penny is addicted to me now. She won't leave me because she loved that fruit roll up so much. She just put her butt in your face so you can see she has a cut on her butt? Yeah, look. Why do you have a butt, a, a butt cut? Wow, you are needing a diet. Oh, gosh. Where did that she... One. Yeah, I'll clean that and I'll put some stuff on it. Do you know what I have for that? I have a raw honey. Raw honey is honestly has the best healing properties. It's so good. So I'm going to clean her cut and then I'm going to put... Some raw honey on it. I don't like her coming up behind me. Hi, Posey. We're coming there. We're gonna switch things up. <laughs> it's just. I, stop? I know. It's funny. Do it again. Walk and stop. Oh, here comes Storm. This horse just follows behind you. She just stops behind. I know. And then walk. Isn't that funny? Like she just does this naturally. Uh oh. I don't like the puppies. Even though you gotta learn. There's just so much so much drama with horses. Honey's not gonna like it either, but don't let me forget to clean that cut as soon as we get back to the barn. That's a weird scratch. I don't know where she'd get a scratch like that. Well, I can tell my cold's getting better. I walked far and I can breathe <laughs> still. Yeah, she gobbles it down. So we tried to do a challenge with Lady and Lady did not like the food that we were offering. So Sophie's offering it to her other babies. Watch, pretty soon Sophie will have like a, a trail of animals behind her. Oh no, you're all gonna come sit with me. Whenever Ellie feels nervous, she climbs up on me. It's okay, it's okay, you're okay. Don't, don't try and bite the horses. What the heck, man? Lady, I can't see past you. Holy moly. Did they like it? Yeah, they're <laughs> Yeah, I guess, look, that's what happened. Sophie's always got somebody following behind her. There's my posy girl. She can't get out anymore since so locked her in for winter. Don't even try and bite that horse. Did you just give my pig some of that? No. What's that? All right, let's go clean her and then we're gonna do the goat. Hi, baby. 
Man, I love this baby. I was watching some videos the other day of like unruly babies. And even though Honey's been a bit of a, a butthead a few times, she's actually like such an easy baby. Minis are like that though. They're so personable. They're so like people orientated and she's not, she's never done anything like so, Kirby so run. bad. Run, Kirby, run. Yeah, how to get any animal fit. Put them in a the field with Honey. Get down there, get running, get running. Goats. The goats are like, we can't get out anymore. Well, we got something exciting for you. All right, Sophie and I are done. Her, I dressed her cut and then I covered it with, um, with, then I covered it with raw honey, which will draw out any kind of impurities and toxins and infection. It looks clean anyways. She's not. I know, they've been really close the last few days. She's not that boss. I think she's in heat. I mean, I don't know for sure, but she's acting like it. <laughs> I'd love to know what he's saying. I want a girlfriend right now! This guy's getting friendly. It's just shocking. Okay, yeah. Boy. Winston can come in. You don't the balls. He's going over. He's going over with the girls. That's, that's vitamins. Like what, you want that? It's just vitamins. Oh, he took some. We sprinkle this on their food, it's minerals. The first goat that actually likes them. All right, Winston, welcome to your new home for the next month or two. Your home, Winston, this is where you were born. This is gonna be crazy, because now we gotta get all the three breeding girls. Uh-oh, here they come, Winston. I would run. Winston, look at, there's your mama. He remembers. Oh, and she's letting him nurse. I don't think that's It's your mama. Now she wants to kill him. How cute. All right. And your auntie, aww, goats. Whoa, honestly, goats are so wonderful, even though they're so awful at the same time. Hi, babe. All right, so, um, the, yeah. So why don't you go over there and open that door and we'll let. We have to get rid of these two first. Uh-oh, oh. Look, I'm surrounded. I got a goat on me, I got a pig on me. You missed your baby, but now you're leaving. I know, I say open that door. Go open that door and we'll just but let them out. They're gonna come through here. Well, we'll guide it, Sophie, we'll guide it. Cricket's like, I know you have honey on your hands. I can smell it. Is it good? I tried washing. Winston loves his mama. I'm sad she's leaving. What is he doing? Oh, he's, wait, he's fixed. Why is he? Acting like he's not fixed. <laughs> what? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused too. You know what? She never let him be dirty, so maybe she's cleaning him. Yeah, she never let him be dirty. I mean, which is fine. She's a good mama. <laughs> she didn't like me when he was born because he he's going to enjoy Posey. Posey's a much nicer pig. <laughs> he doesn't try and mate with her. All right, all right, so let's go and, all right, I'll go over there, you stay over here, and we'll let the ones through that are going through, okay? I got her. So uh, this is going to take a little bit of, like, getting used to and figuring out. You're getting a big surprise. Just don't let Posey through. Okay, close it, close it, close it. <laughs> no way, Pose. This is not your thing. Okay, open. Go. Trigger. Close it. Wow, look at that big guy. You got a girlfriend. Lola's just the right size for him too. Well, good job. We did it. The reason that we took the buck, the the boy out of here is because, hey, listen. He's getting the job done fast. Yeah, like she's not even in heat, for goodness sake. So the reason that you take the, the 
The fixed boys out of the breeding pen is because the buck, even though he's best friends with Winston, when it comes time for the girls to be in heat, when he's in rut, he will actually fight Winston. And Winston could definitely take him, but I don't want to do that. Well, because he can fit on her. Well, that's not our fault. Anyways, so my goal. Now the face turned me in. We're going to be giving all the neighbors a show, let me tell you. But my goal is that he really is into Lola. So hopefully Lola, maybe Lola's in heat. I don't know. But anyways, my goal is to leave the pig in here and see if we can manage it. Like he's a gentle, good, sweet pig. Lola had to go through this whole thing with Winston before. When Winston was a baby, that's all he liked to do was chase her around. And he is loving her. The pig's like, wow, there's a lot of action going on here. I better go for a swim. <laughs> it's another hot day. Okay. So the babies over there, they're really upset because Lola act, treat, has, treats them like she's their mom. So she's gone from them. And it's going to be like a couple of months that she's going to be in with the buck. So yeah, we're going to just leave them. Maybe. But um, they're going to be together at nighttime. At nighttime, we're going to put them back together. So they're over there with Winston. They get Winston. Poor Lola's gonna lose some weight. I actually hate this. I hate that my goats are like all unsettled and frustrated already. Boys are such annoying creatures. happy on the day by day farm not a single person <laughs> Winston was happy now he's not happy all right that's a lie he's happy <laughs> you guys are gonna have to figure this out we'll be back you're the queen of the castle now Tilly I mean we might put them back after they're all bred Winston is the babysitter of this group and he's babysitting. He's got the girls. He probably thought he was all done with the whole babysitting thing, but nope. He really likes Lola. And I think it's because Lola's really his size. Oh, maybe she is in heat. I'm sorry, neighbors. There might be some goat noise. A lot of it. But the pig is leaving the girls alone. So, And the girls can jump up. And he can't. So hopefully we don't have to separate the boy pig. Don't you know that